Hey, so I'm going to show you guys what you will be needing to bleach your virgin hair. So right now I'm showing you guys my Salon Care 40 Volume in Clear and this is the Liquid Activator. After that you will need some gloves to protect your hands from um, being fried. <laughs> then you will need some Ion Color Brilliance Powder Lightener. After that you will need a mixing bowl and you will need a mixing brush and you can find all of these things at Sally's. Now I'm showing you guys the virgin hair that I will be um, bleaching. I'm using Yvonne's virgin hair from AliExpress. I got three lengths, 18, 20, and 22, and the hair is Brazilian loose wave. They are super pretty, shiny, and soft, and it wasn't tangling at all. I will be doing a review on this hair very, very soon, so look forward to that. Now I'm showing you guys how you will need to mix your mixture of your powder lightener and your activator. So all you need to do is just take two scoops of your powder lightener and just put that in your mixing bowl. So just take two scoops and then you're going to grab your 40 developer liquid activator and you're just going to pour um, just a little bit into your mixing bowl. So as you guys can see I'm pouring just enough into my mixing bowl and then you're going to take your mixing brush and just mix that until the formula becomes a really cakey, pasty, thick kind of texture to it. I love this powder lightener because no matter what, like no matter what, I tell you guys if you put a little bit or a lot when I was mixing it, the formula will get thick and you want a thick formula when you are mixing your powder and your liquid because if it's really like liquidy and watery it will run all over the place and it might not bleach your virgin hair that good so you always want to get a thick kind of pasty look at the end um, when you are bleaching your virgin hair also it makes your job really easy so you don't have to keep measuring and putting a little bit of more activating a little bit more powder to make it thick because it will get thick no matter what so I really suggest that you guys get this um, stuff because it's amazing. So this is pretty much how your um, formula should look when you are all done. As you can see, it's really thick and pasty looking. Now I'm showing you guys how I did uh, put my virgin hair down, how I'm going to start this off and all this stuff like that. So what I did was I just put my three bundles of hair onto a piece of foil. Make sure the foil is longer than all your hair because you want to make sure that it doesn't get all over the place. And I suggest that you do um, put foil underneath the hair to make the bleaching process faster. So after that, I'm showing you guys um, me after I put on the first coat of my mixture onto this top of my virgin hair. Now I usually do front and back about 10 times just to make sure that the ver the bleach is like evenly distributed throughout the hair. Make sure that every time you put a coat onto your virgin hair front and back that you are combing the hair with a wide tooth comb just so you don't have any spots that you miss. So make sure that you comb through the hair and make sure that you do apply a top coat and a bottom coat to each of your hair. So do front and back, front and back about 10 times and then make sure that you are combing through the hair and use your hand to kind of check if you missed any spots. This is very important guys, so comb through your hair. After that, um, you will wrap your hair up into your foil like a little baby and leave it on for about 25 to 30 minutes. Make sure that you check on the hair because you don't want to over fry it. And once you are done, you should have beautiful virgin hair. So good luck guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed.